Robertson, and with us tonight is Bill Evans, the Bill Evans Trio, a very talented pianist whose talent earned him two Grammys this year, and we'll hear why in just a moment. We'll also be talking to Bill Evans. Right now, some music, the Bill Evans Trio. Thank you. 
Members of the Bill Evans Trio are Marty Morell on drums and an old friend here on the jazz set, Eddie Gomez on bass. Right. Bill, welcome to the jazz set. Thank you. It's, it's wonderful to be here. A lot of breath after playing, but I'll try to talk. You like our piano? Yeah, the piano's fine. I wish I had it with me all the time in some of the places we play. You ever play uh, electric piano? That seems to be the thing nowadays. Well, it's the thing. I, I, I enjoy it, but only as an auxiliary to the piano. Mm -hmm. I mean, not as any kind of a real instrument in itself, you know. I've used it on about three records now, but, but only uh, uh, as an auxiliary instrument to the piano. You don't so, carry one with you? I don't carry one with me, no. You won two Grammys uh, this year, and that makes it five for you. Yeah, it's enough for any lifetime. <laughs> there was a little bit of resentment there uh, <laughs> because you won the Grammy. I, I never quite understood that. Uh, I don't. I don't know whether there really was or not. Uh, as far as I know, Jet wrote it up as if Miles had left the ceremonies when I won, sort of trying to make a black-white thing out of it. But I think that if the reporter were familiar with Miles' history or my history. 
uh, he would have known this was not a viewpoint which could hold water. But that's the only thing I knew about it, you know. Well, of course, you used to work very closely together. Yeah, a long right. Time. That's right. So he picked really <coughs> the wrong combination for that comment. Mm -hmm. Well, now you're working, uh, you just finished an album, uh, your second album for Columbia, and you're working with George Russell. Yeah, and it's. How is that going? I think it's great. We just finished mixing it. And it's really very exciting that the uh, company seems to be excited about it. And uh, I'm just anxious for everybody to hear it. It's sort of George's return to, this, to the American scene. He's been writing in Scandinavia and whatnot. But for about 10 years, he hasn't had a major record that he's made in the States to be distributed in the States. And I think he really came up with a great composition. It's for 20 pieces and the trio. 20-piece band and the trio and employs rock elements and very avant-garde elements and some traditional elements and uh, it's all mixed up into a, a about a 43-minute composition that I think uh, will reach a lot of people I hope. Uh, oh, so the whole uh, album is, is one composition? One composition. It's, it's sort of George's album. It features me quite a bit but it, it features everybody in the band and George did the composing so it's sort of, you know, it's his his flavor, his sound, and uh, and it's marvelous. It really is. I think it is. Sounds sounds like you might have to make room for more Grammys. Well, <laughs> maybe Georgia will win this one if if it wins one. <laughs> but what? Uh, well, how do you feel about the music today? The the rock music. Rock music. Well, I don't know how to put. You know, putting it into a category. Generally speaking, I'd say what is called rock. There's a lot of. Uh, transient music going on. I mean, it, it's here today and gone tomorrow, and uh, a lot of it doesn't have a lot of experience or talent behind it. But then again, there's uh, certain things in the rock field which are very creative and, uh, and swinging and whatnot, as in any other field of music. So I think it's all coming together uh, more now. And I think the people that maybe would have been satisfied with just uh, a rock feeling now want sort of the same beat but they want a more sophisticated thing happening on top of it and so their interest is moving toward jazz you know which has been running through the stream all the time anyhow mm -hmm. so I think jazz is coming back stronger and it'll probably will use a lot of rock elements and naturally rock is using jazz elements as in a lot of jazz rock bands and everything is kind of getting together I think the the scene for jazz is getting stronger than right now it's getting healthy. And, and jazz is becoming more and more electronic too I mean, even the saxophones yeah. and trumpets. Right. Are. I don't think that really means anything uh, other than a very kind of temporary uh, uh, gimmicky sound appeal. You know, mm -hmm. somebody can get one strong record by doing a new, a new gimmick, you know, electronic gimmick. But it's the man behind the instrument, whether it's electronic or acoustic or what. It's going to be the mind that's behind the music that's going to make it, you know, good and make it last. Mm -hmm. So I don't think the electronic thing means very much other than the fact that there are always new elements being added to instrumentation and recording techniques. But it's the minds that are coming along and the talents in jazz that are important. Yeah. Well, we look forward to hearing the, the minds of George Russell and Bill Evans Thanks. coming together. Yeah. And uh, look forward to right now hearing some more music. What are you going to play? Well, I'd like to do uh, the first two things were uh, How My Heart Sings, which is a uh, uh, jazz waltz by a friend of mine named Earl Zindars. The second thing was a uh, thing called Glorious Step by Scott LaFaro, the late Scott LaFaro bassist. And I'd like to do an original of mine called Time Remembered, which has just been re recorded by Blood, Sweat, and Tears, incidentally. And uh, we'll finish up with uh, the way we play My Romance, a uh, Rogers and Hart standard. Great. Thank you for coming. Nice.
Thank you.